بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم ڈاکٹر زوار حسین اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر آف زولوجی ڈویژن آف سائنس اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی یونیورسٹی آف ایجوکیشن لاہور ان دس لیکچر یو ول لرن اباؤٹ پاپولیشن گروتھ ٹو ٹائپس آف پاپولیشن گروتھ ایکسپوننشیل گروتھ اینڈ لوجسٹک گروتھ ڈفرینٹ فیکٹرز انوالوڈ ان growth of population and the growth curves relevant to these population growth. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. I am Dr. Zawar Hussain, Assistant Professor of Zoology in Division of Science and Technology, University of Education, Lahore. This is the second lecture regarding the topic of population growth. In this lecture, you will learn about different phases of logistic model of growth types of population change and survival curves bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim assalamu alaikum dear students i am dr zawar hussain assistant professor of zoology the vision of science and technology university of education lahore This lecture is the continuation of the topic regarding population ecology. This is the fourth lecture of this topic. In this lecture, we will learn about population dynamics and regulations. You will know about different regulatory mechanisms and interaction of biotic and abiotic components to regulate the population stability. to start the discussion about population dynamics and regulation first of all uh, we will define these two terms uh, population dynamics and uh, the population regulation we know that uh, an ecosystem is composed of uh, biotic and abiotic components these two types of components affect uh, every population uh, in that ecosystem and the dynamic nature of uh, the population uh, size is the focus of uh, the study the study of population dynamics actually focuses on the complex interactions between biotic and abiotic factors that cause the variation in population size the population size may be affected by other animals and plant species in that ecosystem and it can also be affected by the environmental factors which affect the population of that specific species so both biotic and abiotic factors play a vital role in variation of population size of a species and then the population regulation the population regulation is the tendency for a population to remain dynamically stable no matter where it starts we assume that the starting point is non zero for every population so population remains stable but in a dynamic condition different population regulatory mechanisms affect the population size of a species the first of all is the predation predation uh, is a density dependent control of the population where a predator consume a uh, prey as a food and if the population of prey increases it also increases the birth rate of the predators and the death rate and health conditions of the predators so an increase in the population of prey also uh, increase the predation rate and the predator population therefore the population of prey can be controlled with this mechanism predators in the population exert a density dependent controls on the population of the prey as the population of the prey increases it increases the prey availability to the predators and the birth rate of the predator also increases and their health condition is improved so the death rate decreases accordingly the second population regulatory mechanism is the competition for resources competition described the interaction between the individuals for a specific resource to utilize it 
when it is in limited quantity and more in demand so competition act as a regulatory mechanism when the sources are limited and different individuals compete to utilize it to, uh, for their demands there are different ways to describe the competition for resources and competition may be divided into two groups based on the species identity of the competitor it may be intra specific competition or an inter specific competition inter specific competition is between the individuals of different species while the intra specific competition is between the individuals of the same species competition may also be divided into two types on the basis of nature of interaction uh, on the basis of interaction there are two types uh, the first one is the scramble exploitative competition in this type of competition the resources are very limited and they are not enough to support all the individuals of the population so uh, this is a condition in which a free for all uh, individual condition as individual tries to beat others to a limited pool of resources in this condition no one receives enough of the resources so the growth and reproduction are depressed equally and can lead to local extinction this local extinction occur because all the individuals are deprived of resources no one have enough resources to survive and reproduce in the in these conditions the second type of competition is contest or interference competition in this type of competition some of the individuals of populations claim more share than the others and they deny the other individuals from the resources on the basis of their social status or their abilities to get more share from the uh, pool of resources here not all the individuals are deprived there are some individuals who get enough resources for survival and reproduction and there are other individuals who are denied of resources due to Uh, social and chemical interactions that limit a competitor's access to the resources so in this type of competition there may be no uh, local extinction as some of the individuals get enough chances to survive and reproduce crowding or high density is another population regulatory mechanism when population increases rapidly there is a crowding or high density condition when the space become restricted and results in less food and for individuals and their offspring this restriction of food and space resources promote the spread of diseases and also the high density of prey population at attracts the attention of predators thus the crowding and high density causes the increase in death rate of the population crowding also promotes the aggressive behavior or competition of for space and resources and thus this type of behavior become more frequent in the populations where the increasing population cause crowding or high density along with the increase in death rate of the population with crowding and high density populations there is also a stress factor when increased crowding and social contact cause stress triggering the hormonal changes and these hormonal changes can restrict the population and growth thus it also reduces the birth rate of the population this stress factor also affect the immune system increased stress may lead to the suppression of immune system and increasing the frequency of diseases which ultimately cause the increased death rate of that population in this way crowding act as a regulatory mechanism of uh, population when 
there is a crowding or high density in any population there are more deaths and less births so a reduced birth and increased death rate of the population uh, regulate that uh, increasing population social organization is very common in many populations actually social organization is based on the aggressiveness intolerance and dominance of one over the another individual this social organization is intra specific and the individuals of the same species interact with each other to form a social setup for any population intra specific interactions are very important as they stabilize the competition within that species in these social organizations rankings are established the rankings are usually established by fighting within the individuals of the species or bluffing or threatening once the rankings are established uh, these are rarely challenged and maintained over a period of time by habitual subordination and punishment the ranking status are as alpha individual is dominant over all the other individuals while beta is dominant on all the individuals except alpha and omega is subordinated to all other individuals there are certain social behaviors which are population regulatory mechanisms such as home range home range is actually an area which an animal normally lives and is not necessarily associated with any type of aggressive behavior normally home range behavior restrict the uh, competition but dominance hierarchy may exist among the individuals with overlapping home ranges where a dominant individual possess more home range and more access to the resources than the recessive one territorial behavior is also a population regulation mechanism in which the territory is a uh, defended more or less fixed and exclusive area maintained by a single individual or a group of individuals uh, living as a social unit at that specific area this area is defended by the individual or the social unit and it is more or less exclusive in which they can consume the resources to their will and prevent the others to interrupt their accessibility the territory is exclusive in the sense that they don't share that area to their rivals rivalry individuals males are usually dominant in the territory the hierarchy of dominance in a territory is as the carnivores are dominant over herbivores or omnivores and dom- these are dominant over the other subordinates the adults are dominant over subadults males and subadults males are dominant over females dispersal is a population regulatory mechanism in increasing population where a rapidly increasing population can avoid overcrowding or high density it also reduces the social interaction or organization it is also important to reduce the competition for limited resources because some of the individuals are moved towards the other locations and stabilize the remaining population dispersal is an ecological process that involves the movement of an individual or a multiple individuals away from the population in which they were born to another location or a population where they will settle down and reproduce in this way the resource exploitation is managed and population stabilizes itself the two most common forms of dispersal are natal or adult dispersal the natal dispersal is the 
first movement of an organism from its birth site to the site in which it first attempts to reproduce so it is commonly the movement for better resources and a better site to reproduce and provide this space and food to the their offspring once the individual reach its reproduction age then the movement is called adult dispersal the adult dispersal entails the changing of location in space after reaching the reproductive maturity this type of dispersal is usually involve the movement from one habitat patch to another habitat patch due to some environmental conditions or some resources scarcity in addition to these two types of dispersals uh, adult and natal dispersals there is also another type which do not fall in any of these two categories this is for non motile adults such as uh, plants the plant usually disperse in the form of gametes and this is called gamete dispersal and due, due to this type of dispersals plant can relocate uh, themselves to the far off places than their original ones relocation to a new site is a usual part of life cycle of many plants and animals and is viewed as an adoptive trait in their life history and this is very important to exploit new resources of new sites than overcrowding at the same po position so these are all the population regulation mechanism due to these factors a population stabilize itself and and maintain its uh, dynamic nature so that's all about today's topic thank you for joining this lecture